uh, this is uh, grade five English uh, semester four exam. Okay, here's part one. You have to read the passage carefully and complete the activities that follow. Go ahead, Kamen. 14 days in Tokyo. It, it was July, and Todd wanted to hang out with his friends. Yet on Friday, Todd and his family were flying to Tokyo, Japan. They would visit his, uh, his grandmother, Obasa. Obasa. She liked being called by the, uh, the Japanese word for grandmother. Obasa uh, promised to show them around Tokyo, but Todd really did not want to leave San Francisco. First of all, they arrived early and had to sit in the airport for two hours before the flight finally uh, flight, finally, they took off and were uh, airborne, but it was still another 11 hours before they would land in Tokyo. After a taxi ride, they were at Obasa, a, a, a apartment in a modern building, building. She met them with a big... Uh, a big hug. Inside her apartment, there were no doors, screens, separated. separated. The, uh, the room, instead of a carpet, straw, uh, mats were on the floor. The, fur uh, the furniture were cu uh, cush cushions for seating and a low a dining ta a, a table were different from the kind of fur furniture in Todd's home. Continue. Obasan served them breakfast and then took them to the Tokyo Metropolitan. Government uh, building the tallest building in the city. The, uh, the observatory decks at decks at the top or the best pla place to view all of Tokyo. It was it was a clear morning, so they could could see Mount Fuji, the tallest mountain in Japan, and kind of volcano. Todd had never seen such a uh, such a view. The such a view. The volcano seemed angry, but in a cool way. Maybe this trip would not be boring after all. Please come up. Afterward, they ate at a restaurant in the building. Everyone ordered to see more tasty food, and then they came. Some pieces were rice. Throughout the space and others were right throughout the vegetables. The sushi in San Francisco was not nearly as good. Then the next day, Obasan took everyone to Sunshine City, a city within the city shops, restaurants, and an indoor theme park with games and drive. It had a number of food themed areas. Like ice cream city where shops sell ice cream. Our Obasan and Mom went shopping. Dad and Todd visited the theme park where Todd played video games. Then they went up to the aquarium to see to see sea animals. The stingray was Todd's favorite. Thank you. to be more interesting than Todd expected, but his best time was at a Boyaka, or puppet theater. The puppets were as big as people and seemed to be alive. The people who worked the puppets were right on stage in front of the audience. Todd loved the colorful costumes and sets. When it was time to return to America, Todd did not want to leave. It had been the best two weeks of his life. Thank you.
Okay, let's start by answering the following questions. What is the setting of the story? Does anyone remember? Should we go back to the text? Who remembers the setting? Should I go back to the text? Only the time. It's hard, the time. Okay, go ahead, Sharif. Uh, Japan. Okay, the place Japan. is Japan. Do you remember in the beginning? It was summer. What month? July. July, very good. Excellent. It's good. Well, you'll have the text in front of you during your exams. So, of course, you can go and find exactly what the uh, setting is. Now, uh, what type of genre is the story? Hi, Dad. Realistic fiction, correct. Okay, can you give examples that help you find the genre? It can happen in real life. Like what? Okay, Sharif? Like the puppet show and the sushi and... So a puppet show really happen in real life? Sushi? It's a real food? Yes. They, they went and, and, and they go, go and fly in a plane, or like a real fish. You're right. This Anything is, else? What they say and do, that shows that it's realistic. Okay, so what they say and do are like real normal people, daily people that you see. Do you ever travel? Yes. Have you ever gone somewhere where you didn't want to go and then you changed your mind? No. 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 <laughs> you didn't change your mind ever? So you didn't ever want to go? Where, yes. Kevin? No, no, I didn't you wanted to stay there for good? Okay. So these... I never have ever been like... didn't like going to a place. I always like to travel. To that point, I never have changed. My mind could take anything to Oh, so you like... So your feelings are that you like to travel no matter where you go. But does the character have feelings like you? And had feelings about traveling? He didn't have any feelings in the beginning about traveling? Yes, he didn't want to. So does he have feelings like real people? Yes. So it's realistic? Yes. Okay. So some examples are the food and activities as well as what? As well as the characters. Are realistic. Very good. Can someone help me find a personification from paragraph three? Usually you have to go back to the paragraph unless you remembered exactly where the personification was. Okay, you have to tell what is being personified and explain how it makes you visualize the scene. What is the personification, Sharif? Personification, it's like when you take uh, something that a person does or feels like and give it to an animal or something. To an uh, object. Yes. So it's something that is non-living. We're describing something that's non-living with something about, uh, like a characteristic of a person. Okay? Okay. Now, can you give me the personification from paragraph three? Yes, Haidan? Okay, the volcano seemed angry. Uh, can a volcano be angry? No. no. So what is being personified? The volcano. The volcano is doing the anger. The volcano can be angry. The volcano that is just like things are coming up. Okay. Now, how, how when you read something like the volcano seemed angry. Like what kind of visualization in your mind do you see? Like it's 
so like Sharif and Kamil and Mohammed were all saying, you guys were saying the volcano seems like it might erupt. It seems like the lava is bubbling. Okay, it seems like you can picture these in your mind. When, when you hear the volcano seemed angry, you feel like the volcano might erupt. Okay, so let's say the volcano is being personified. How it makes you visualize? It makes me visualize. Me visualize. A volcano that is a volcano that is about to erupt. Okay. Is it a volcano or a volcano? Oh, did I forget the L? Volcano? <laughs> Okay, I was wondering what you were talking about. It will erase volcano. Okay. Okay. Number four. When did Todd change his attitude about traveling to Tokyo? Miss. Miss. Come on, guys. When did Todd change his attitude about Miss. traveling to Tokyo? What does attitude mean? Like his behavior. Okay, his feelings and behavior. Okay. Feelings and behavior, very good. Okay, can you tell me yes. when? When did yes. that happen? Yes. Come on, Chad. When did he want to? Ch when did he change his mind? That's what, uh, when, the, uh, when he went. Uh, when he went. Saw the his uh, uh, colorful. He saw these colorful, colorful costumes. He wanted. Uh, he wanted so much. So he wanted to stay. Okay. Yes. yes. But he learned, Okay. When he, uh, when he learned about the new uh, the new types of food uh, like sushi. Okay. Uh, he said, according to the they said that he changed his attitude at the end when he was about to leave. He didn't want to leave. He wanted to stay. Okay. So all of you have great answers, but in the text, if we go back to the text, there's a part where it says. Maybe this place is not so bad after all. Something like this was yeah. said. This is after he sees what? The no, he wow. sees. The volcano. Yes, okay. very good. So that's when he started to change his attitude. And as you said, throughout the story, his attitude changed even more. Okay, so there are different parts. And this question, of course, would well, have can have more than one answer. So I'm going to write here, answers will vary. Okay, very good. Now, <clears throat> I want you to circle the correct answer. You read all of them, of course, before you decide what to circle. Read the question. Who can read the question? Malak, would you like to read the question? Yes. Uh, circle the correct answer was change the, change the most of, about uh, Okay, his actions, his attitude, his love for Obasan, or how American he seems. Which one? Which one, Jad? Excellent, his attitude. Do you all agree? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. We have to complete the theme graphic organizer by giving clues or details from the text that help us find the theme. Now, some of you already know the theme. What kind of theme or lesson did you learn from reading this text? Can you raise your hands? Yes, Muhammad? Um, I mean, that shouldn't touch a book by its cover. All, all big means that it shouldn't touch any place, anything before experiencing. Okay, so should it make decisions about something before experiencing yes, it? Or, okay, trying it out? Okay, I'm going to repeat some of the text. I want you to listen. I'm going to stop after each paragraph and you tell me if you found a detail that helps support this theme. It was July and Todd wanted to hang out with his friends. Yet, on Friday, Todd and his family were flying to Tokyo, Japan. 
They would visit his grandmother, Obasan. She liked to be called uh, by the Japanese word for grandmother. Obasan promised to show them around Tokyo, but Todd really did not want to leave San Francisco. Here, do you find any details? Yes, Sharif? Todd really didn't want to leave San Francisco. Okay, so here I'm going to write Todd. Didn't want to leave San Francisco. Want to leave San Francisco. Where's San Francisco? In America. Where? In uh, Los Angeles. California. America. Yeah. Very good. It's in California. You're right. You're right. You're all you're all correct. Okay, let's look for another detail. First of all, they arrived early and had to sit in the airport for two hours before the flight. Finally, they took off and were airborne, but it was still another 11 hours before they would land in Tokyo. After a taxi ride, they were at Obasan's apartment in a modern building. She met them with a big hug. Inside her apartment, there were no doors. Screens separated the rooms. Instead of carpets, straw mats were on the floors. The furnishings with cushions for seating and a low dining table were different from the kind of furniture in Todd's home. Did you find any details here? No. Okay, very good. You're right. You're right. Okay. Obasan served them breakfast and then took them to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, the tallest building in the city. The <laughs> observatory decks at the top are the best place to view all of Tokyo. It was a clear morning, so they could see Mount Fuji, the tallest mountain in Japan, and a kind of volcano. Todd had never seen such a view. The volcano seemed angry, but in a cool way. Maybe this trip would not be boring after all. Uh, maybe the snake would be boring after all. This before uh, the volcano uh, seemed angry, but in a cool way. Okay, very good. So That's maybe this trip, those are those are very good details. So I'm going to write both of them. The volcano. The volcano what? Seemed oh. angry. Seemed angry but cool. Seemed angry but cool. It's okay. When we write on a chart, you don't have to write exactly. It just needs to make sense and be a complete sentence. Okay, so if I take out some words, it's, it's paraphrasing and it's actually better. Okay, the volcano seemed angry but cool. And what else? Maybe. Maybe this place isn't bad at all. Maybe this Astral. place. Maybe this place. Place isn't bad. Would not be boring after all. Okay. Be boring after all. Boring. Okay. Now let's look for another detail. I'm going to read again. Also, this is what you will be doing on your own in your exam. So I'm just trying to show you how you can attack your exam. Okay. Afterwards, they ate at a restaurant in the building. Everyone ordered sushi, a small tasty food, and a delicacy. Some prices were rice. Some pieces were rice rolled with fish, and others were rice rolled with vegetables. The sushi in San Francisco was not nearly as good. Very good. That's another detail. Here, let's read more. That means it is. It's a good detail. The sushi. It's uh, which is better in Tokyo. Tokyo. Okay. So that's another detail we can add. The sushi was not nearly as good. In, so the sushi in. In, in, yes, in, in San Tokyo, Francisco was not Tokyo. as good. Yes, in Tokyo. Very good. Okay. All right. Have you ever tried sushi in Tokyo, sweetheart? Okay. So we can't compare if we don't know, right? Can we make judgment before we know? Okay. The next day, Obasan took everyone to Sunshine City, a city within the city shops, restaurants, and an indoor theme park with games and rides. It had a number of food theme areas like Ice Cream City, where shops sell ice cream. While Obasan and Mom went shopping, Dad and Todd visited the theme park where Todd played video games. Then they went to the aquarium to see animals. The stingrays were Todd's favorite. Anything here? The stingrays were Todd's favorite. Very good. So we're, find, we're finding a lot of details. Do yeah. we need so many details? No. Um, Can we write them all? Yes. yes. If we write them all, uh, it might no, make it might. your answer a little bit too wordy yes. and wrong. Yes. 
but if you add just the most important ones, they're good. Okay, let's read again the last one. Everything was turning out to be more interesting than Todd expected, but his time... <laughs> So everything was turning out to be more interesting. Everything? Everything was turning out to be more uh, interesting. That, that, that shows that the teacher got book by his cover because, because he first thought that it won't be good and at the end he thought it to be it more interesting. You're right. So here we're going to say the theme is don't judge. A book by its cover. What kind of a phrase is this? That a book by its cover. Idiom. Is it? No, no, no. no. Yeah, I don't don't judge a book by its cover. It is an idiom. Yeah, it, is. it is. Yeah, you can consider it as an idiom. Don't judge a book by its cover. Because um, it isn't a book, really a book. Yes, but you're right. Is, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It's an idiom. Don't judge a book by its cover or make decisions before no. experiencing. Or don't, don't judge a book or by cover or, or don't make decisions before, no, make, before uh, it. You not, don't make experiences. Uh, you said it. make experiences before it's... Uh, uh, it's it sometimes like he don't judge the book by its cover or don't make decisions before. Yes, he don't make decisions exactly. before experience. You're, You're right. right. Don't. Yes. Oh, don't judge a book by its cover or make decisions before experiencing. Because I wrote or and I didn't uh, end the sentence, it's okay. Sometimes by putting or, it's the same as don't. Yes, you are correct, Muhammad. But if I added a punctuation mark at the end of the cover, then I would have to write don't. Okay? Thank you for your uh, excellent students. Let's go on to the next part. Find the meaning of the following underlined words in each sentence using context clues. Read, Hassan. There was this, this, then was a person. She liked being called by the Japanese. So, we should, this word should be underlined first. Okay, so tell me the meaning of obasan. What does it mean? It means a uh, word uh, for grandmother. Yes, in what language? Uh, Chinese. Is it Chinese? Read again. Uh, Japan. Yes, it's a Japanese word. For grandmother. Grandmother, okay? Could you do it, Hassan? You did it. You're correct. Thank you. Okay, who would like to do the next one? Who has not come up yet? Jad? Everyone orders sushi. A small tasty food and a... Deli delicacy. delicacy. Some pieces were rice rolled with fish and others were rice rolled with vegetables. Sushi is a, is a kind of food uh, they, they made in Japan. They make it from. Okay, it's a, a type of food. Okay. Rolled with fish. Or you can. It's a type of two kinds. It has two kinds. Uh, it has rice rolled with fish. Okay, great. Sushi is a type of food is enough for the definition. Now, all of your additions, if you want to describe it, have you ever had it? Yes. No. Who's not had? Who has not had sushi? Who has never eaten sushi? You've never eaten it? Okay, great. I Maybe we'll. One, yes. I didn't like you didn't like it. You like it? Some people don't I like it. Like, I didn't like it. Yeah. Food. I always ask for it. Unless it has fish sometimes, they give you a fish. It's black, uh, something black, with rice and vegetables. And yeah. Yeah. The black is seaweed. Okay, great. So, it's good that some of you who don't know what sushi is know what it is now. And uh, know that maybe you can have really good sushi in Japan. Maybe we'll take a class trip to Japan. Yeah. 
Yes, I know. Some people even make it at home. Okay. <laughs> Can we do the last question? Yes. First of all, they arrived early and had to sit in the airport for two hours before the flight. Finally, they took off and were airborne. But it was still another 11 hours before they would land in Tokyo. What's airborne? Yes, Sharif. It's like uh, airborne is like when they were in the air. Yes, you're right. Oh, when they were in the air. In the air. Correct. Excellent. Can you match the antonyms? Yes. Yes. We're matching the antonyms. We're matching the antonyms. Okay, can someone do the first one? Is when agreed. Is agreed. Okay, next one. Third is silent. Third is silent. Okay, next. Previous after. Excellent students. Writing. Write a story about a time when you or someone you know changed their attitude about a different culture because of travel or at a cultural party. Use at least five vocabulary words. Assuring, emerging, gratitude, detective, guidance, outcome, previous, pursuit, misunderstanding, contradicted, complimenting, congratulate, critical, blurted, appreciation, and cultural. Now, just think of the stories you've read and think of ideas that you can take from the stories. Like, for example, with Mary and Kim. They were invited to each other's houses for a few times on different occasion, occasions like New Year's and Thanksgiving. I want you to think about the stories and tell me the difference in cultures. For example, you learned about Mary's behavior and respect towards her parents. And Kim also learned the behavior of the parents towards the, their children and about the difference in cultural beliefs between bragging. Now, tell us about a certain time when you traveled and you learned something about a different culture or you went to a party where you learned something. Complete the table using words from the following passage. As you read the passage, circle nouns so that you can easily Put them in the correct place on to the table. Is land a noun? Yes. But here it means land in Tokyo. So it's actually physically landing. So it would become a an ad, uh, uh, Tokyo a verb. Is a noun. Tokyo is a noun. After a taxi ride, Ta taxi. taxi, they were at Obasan's Apartment. Obasan. Apartment. In a modern building. Obasan met them with a big hug. Inside her apartment, also hug would be considered, there were no doors. Screens separated the rooms. Instead of carpets, straw mats. Straw mats. Here, straw is not a noun. It's considered an adjective. Were on the floor. The furnishings with cushions for seating and a low dining table were different from the kind of furniture in Todd's home. Now we can just place them. Common noun, table, uh, floor, furniture, proper noun, obasan, uh, Todd, Tokyo, Singular noun, building, hug, taxi, plural noun, cushions, mats, mats furnishings, possessive nouns, tots, obasans, apartment. Read each sentence and circle the action verb. On the line, write past, present, or future to name the tense of each circled verb. For each verb. The angry child screams loudly as the screams, toy store. Screams. screams. Present. The weatherman predicts the weather every present. afternoon. Present. Ali played the violin beautifully. Played. 
breast test. Egyptians will find the mummy inside the pyramid. We will find, find the future. future. Read each sentence. Circle the correct verb tense. Then identify the verb as past, present, or future on the line provided. My grandmother bakes. 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 Okay. She bakes every day. Uh, it's in the present. Present. The boss demands or demanded employees go home early the day before. Demanded. Demanded. Demanded because we have the day before. No. And this is? Past. The ducks swim or s swims or swam? Swam. Bob. Swam. Snorted. Why? Because we have snorted. snorted. Uh, so here past. we say that. The moon covers or will cover the sky later the today. Moon covers future. Future. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a good speller. Okay, we ate tuna last night. It is the easiest type of food to add spice to. Tuna and spice are spelled wrong. Once I made it myself and I proved that I am one cool cook. The cooking handbook amused me before I paid my coach to bring me a sandwich from his house. Tuna, spice, proved, handbook, handbook, and amused. Good luck, students.